Hi my good friends. We are back with another puzzle episode today and we would like to reach a perfect score. So what is in this puzzle? We can uh, definitely capture this knight and then once captures with the pawn we can capture with the queen but then I don't see a concrete continuation yet. What is weak here? The weak pawn piece is this bishop there. How can we attack this bishop? Mm, not a clear way. I mean, this is definitely way. Take the knight. And then once takes, we take back with the queen. Attacking the rook, attacking the bishop. And yeah, it uh, seems very legit, right? The idea is that I take takes uh, take with the queen, attacking the rook. Brings the rook up mm, uh, somewhere. I open the knight. I open the knight and then my plan is to capture this bishop and then bring this rook here. This is the plan. I feel it works and I don't see an easy way for black actually to prevent me from doing this. So, so let's do this. And let's do this so should i bring the knight up or oh another thing i see right now it's even easier i can take this takes with the queen then i say check moves the king then i grab this rook right and, uh, then what's the situation at this point we are doing okay, but not perfect. We are up material. Uh, I see that the queen of uh, after uh, grabbing uh, with check takes with the queen, and then after we say check with the queen and grabbing the rook. Yeah, I, I see some chance for black to come in with the queen, but uh, it's not a decent chance, you know. So. I can grab it. That's it. And I just move the king away. There is no... Oh, oh, okay. I can also go back. Wait one. I have two squares. Going back looks a little bit scary. So I go forward. And then uh, when queen takes the c-pawn, I play knight d2. Oh no, man. Why? We wanted to do perfect run. So I had to go back and then play knight d2, knight c3, what? Oh, it's attacking that, ah, attacking that pawn, attacking the g pawn. Okay, mm, uh, let me see what was the mistake here. We take, 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 uh, up to here is obvious, right? And goes there, what is problem with this? Oh, can I say check, the problem here is that grabs this pawn or goes for perpetual i mean even grabbing this pawn is no it, 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 you see it engine says that it's plus three ah okay ah no, you see engine is saying that every move black is doing is plus three for white so it wasn't really that bad i mean i can go back Okay, uh, okay, I think the idea is that I should see that I should I could go back. Okay, I think this is the idea. Otherwise, otherwise, we didn't run into a failure actually. So this looks very easy, right? Because because I'm currently I can do the following. I push the pawn, attacking the bishop, once takes. I take the other pawn with the other bishop, you know, I mean, if takes with the bishop, I take the f pawn with the bishop check and then mate with the rook. If takes with the pawn, I push the pawn, if takes with the pawn, then uh, I cannot capture the f pawn because it's defended by rook and queen. But instead, I can capture the bishop. 
I can capture the bishop and then we are up a material. So it's super easy. Or I'm mistaking, I don't know. Why? Today is a, isn't the perfect day, definitely. We are up a material. What's wrong here? So this guy wants me to definitely deliver mate. I can do this, for example. Yeah. Yeah, I should be slower. Uh, I could have uh, attacked no, for me, I could have run a mating attack, but yeah. So here, bishop wants to go back. Bishop of no, black wants to go back. We should prevent it. Also, we can attack this pawn, but this is a little bit slow, right? Because black's bishop can go back to g6 and block our queen pass. But if we attack, uh, we give a check right now. Then black queen cannot go um, to h8 because we mate here. Black queen has to come the only square that is f8. And when there is only one square, usually it means that we are doing well. Um, then what can we do after that? After that we can capture the d pawn. What else? Uh, suppose we give a check black king is in f8 and then I don't see a continuation also if I give a check here uh, if I take this pawn attacking the and g pawn it doesn't work because bishop plays g6 and then I don't even have this check anymore because after giving this check when the bishop is on g6 can go to f7 so pretty much this moves son's force no queen e6 son's force but we should definitely find a right way to do it another thing i see is that yeah i can capture this and when the bishop goes back i push the pawn to bishop yeah, that's good right I push this pawn to the bishop and queen can defend right once I push this pawn to the bishop queen can defend it but not much little bit so I can capture this okay I, what I wanted to say is this here after pushing 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 Queen could have gone there, for example, to defend. And it seems that we are losing a queen this way, but it's not losing a queen because it's a mate. So let's go to the next puzzle. We are far behind perfect run, but isn't that terrible. Okay. Uh, I can definitely give a check from here, but queen comes back into g six and defends the king then i can grab this pawn with check king goes up then what then i don't see a good continuation ah oh, i see what is the continuation uh no i don't see him or maybe i see uh i was thinking i grab this with check uh queen goes to uh, g6 and then i say check at f8 if king goes up i can i can do what if king goes up i can play pawn f no uh, pawn g4 and check after takes uh i can somehow deliver mid okay uh, but yeah it's complicated but i think the first move is definitely queen takes uh, f pawn let's do it second move is uh, the second move is two folded we can either take this the only way is king to h5 right and then we check at f3 with the queen 
and takes the pawn with the king. Yeah, it's mate, right? Uh, takes the pawn. And this is mate in a corner. This is a pattern. It's better that you know that uh, if the king's uh, uh, around the king is surrendered and king cannot um, navigate easily, you can use the g pawn or in some cases b pawn to mate the king in the edge or a line. So let's go for the next puzzle. This looks like beginning of the end, right? Uh, I'm thinking about this check. This check doesn't have a very good response because if the king goes down, if the sun goes down, <laughs> if the king goes down, the rook goes there and then comes here and could deliver me. If the king doesn't go down, cannot defend with the uh, rook, and king also cannot go to the h file because it's the immediate mint, all right? Mm, uh, the only other option is to play pawn to f2, f3, pawn f2 to f3. Then our queen can swing to a2 and deliver check from there. You may say that, okay, then what a useless check, but it's not really useless because then the rook is uh, joining the... Oh, sorry, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this and this and then show that I can bring the rook. Ah, what a... Catastrophe. Uh, I was thinking at this moment, okay, uh, I was thinking what to do here. Okay, uh, I can deliver check, but then it doesn't sound very great, but I can also bring the rook here. Yeah, the thing is that, uh, ah, no, unlucky day, because yeah, I didn't want, no, I want to explain, then I dropped the piece. After this, this, and this, and this, if the queen goes there, we just simply go away and then there is no way to defend the mate except giving up a lot of material. I don't know if we have any other puzzle left. No, unfortunately, and I think we lost some point. Let's see. That was very unfortunate. I mean, I mean, the last one, especially this last one, uh, we had it easily and uh, explained everything and then I dropped the piece. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, this was, and this is what I explained. But then in middle, I dropped the piece. Yes, finished. There is no more puzzle, and daily puzzle finished today. Yes, it is finished. I hope you enjoyed. 